If your to-do list is constantly growing, it can be easy to get so overwhelmed that nothing actually gets finished. That's where getting things done comes in. Getting Things Done, or GTD, is a productivity methodology created by David Allen. He outlines a five-step process to capture life's different inputs in a trusted system, making space in your head to actually tackle those tasks and achieve your goals. It's easy to set up GQs for a GTD workflow. Just import the template to get a starter set of lists called Qs in the app. There's a link to the template in the video description. These lists are a great place to start, and you can always customize your setup as you get more used to the GTD system. Step one is capture. Collect anything and everything that's grabbing your attention. The key here is to make sure it all goes into a single trusted system. In GQs, any ideas, action items, goals, or any other entries are called tasks. It's okay if not everything you put in here actually qualifies as a task. What's important is it's out of your head and into your system. GQs gives you lots of ways to capture all of life's stuff. In addition to adding tasks right from the app on web or mobile, you can also create new items from Chrome, Gmail, or any other email platform. To add new items from Chrome, just install the GQs Chrome extension, then open the extension to add your task. If you select From Web Page, it'll automatically capture the URL in the task notes. In Gmail, use the GQs for Google Workspace add-on to attach or link emails to tasks. Or use your inbox email address to email your items right to your GQs inbox. This works no matter what email service you're using. However you capture your items, they'll all be collected in your GQs inbox by default. It's a great landing zone for your mind sweep items. Step two is clarify. First, ask yourself, is this actionable? If the answer is no, then you have a few options. You can trash it, move it to your someday list to revisit later, or log it away for reference. You should also park reminders for anything you'll want to make sure you pick back up at a designated time. For the tasks that are actionable, Define their next steps and successful outcomes. You don't want them to be vague. Make sure they have clear, concrete next steps. And if it's something that'll take less than two minutes, don't put it off, just do it now. If you're not the best person to take on a task or you just need a little help getting through everything, delegate it to a teammate. Just make sure anything you hand over to someone else gets moved to your waiting for list so you remember to follow up. Step three is organize. One of the core concepts in GTD is grouping work by context. We recommend using tags for that. This way, your next actions lists are automatically generated for you. So you can click on computer to see all your tasks that need a computer to complete. You can group and sort these lists as needed. This makes it easy to see your work computer tasks grouped together and save the rest for when you're home. Tags give you context for where your items can be completed, so that initial barrier is already removed. Move your standalone tasks from your inbox into your single actions list. Anything that's a multi-step process or part of a long-term area of focus should be moved into its own project list. Many projects will have all their steps planned out, but only one available at a time as a next action. We recommend only tagging the next action. That way, you can preview what's coming up while still having a clear visual indicator of what's on deck now. And only the tagged tasks will show up in your next actions list. Step four is reflect. This is where the GTD weekly review comes in. The GQ's template comes with a task to help you remember the steps. Here's how it works. Capture any loose paper and materials. Empty your head by capturing any ideas and items into GQs. Get your inbox to zero by clarifying and organizing those tasks. Look at the Tags menu to review your next actions. Review your calendar from last week and see what's coming up next week. Review your Waiting For queue to check off any items that have been completed and record follow-up next actions as needed. Review your projects to make sure there's at least one current action item on each. 
Look at any checklists you have for routine processes and trigger next actions as needed. Review your Sunday and maybe list to see what you don't care about anymore that can be deleted and what can be moved into an active project. And get creative. Add any wild, harebrained ideas you have to your someday and maybe list. Going through this process every week helps you stay on top of everything and frees up space in your mind for creative thinking and deep work. The fifth and final step in GTD is engage. Trust you've set up a system where you can make good choices about what to work on at any given moment and start getting things done. Your next actions lists organized by context are a great place to start, but if you need a little extra help figuring out what to work on next, GQs has some tools to help you decide. Any items you've dated for today will show up in your Do Today Smart Queue. It will also automatically pull in any tasks that were dated in the past and got missed. The GTD template also comes with a Smart Queue called Quick Hits. Any items you've tagged as quick hit or marked the duration as being 15 minutes or less will show up here. It's longer than the two minute cutoff for whether you should get it done right away, but it's still short enough that you can lump several together at once. Check here when you have a free 30 minutes to knock through a few items and keep making progress, even when you don't have time to do a deep dive into a bigger project. Import the GQ's GTD template now to increase your productivity and decrease your stress by getting things done.